Well, let's look at how to calculate factorial the recursive method. So recursion is basically when you have a function calling itself. So first of all, factorial. If I take 5 factorial, that equals 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So what I want to do is have the function call itself and then return some value. So I'm going to do an integer return value. And I'm going to call this factorial. And I'm going to pass it some number. So int num. And then I want to return something. So what is it? Well, in factorial, you, you're, you're multiplying out these all these numbers, right? But you're going to be counting down. So you want to have a recursive base case. So base case. The base case is where you get your lowest. So if num is, well, less than 2, then we want to just return the number 1. Now, I guess 0 factorial and negative factorials don't really work here, but we'll just assume that that isn't going to be the case for now. And then I want to have my recursive case. So what is that? Well, if it is, well, 2 or higher, then I want to return whatever the number is times whatever is below it. Because in this case right here, 5 factorial is actually the same thing as 4 factorial times 5. So I want to return my num times, and then I want to do factorial of what number lower. So with this, if I pass in 5 factorial, it comes in as 5. It's not less than 2, so we're fine. It goes down to this recursive case, and it does 5 times 4 factorial, so not minus 1. And then 4 factorial, same thing. It's 4 times 3, and then kind of goes 3 factorial. And it kind of works all the way down until we get to this thing where it says, you know, 2 Oh, and 2 comes in, it's 2 times 1 factorial. And then 1 factorial, well, 1 is less than 2, so it returns 1. And then it pops back up, and it comes 2 times 1, and that pops back up. Then it becomes 3 times that 2 times 1, which was 2. So that means 6, it returns 6. And then you get the 4, and then it is 4 times the 6, which is 24. And then you jump up, and all you get... You get up to this 5 times 24, which is um, 120. All right. So now let's go ahead and prompt the user for something. And then we can test our factorial function. So we do a C out. Enter a number. Okay. And let's go ahead and int some num here, which is not the same as the factorial above. It's a different num because it's a different scope. So we'll read that into num. And then I'll have a statement printing out what we know now. So I'll do C out. And I'll say that whatever num, say num factorial is equal to, and then I'll give the return value. So factorial and pass in my number eight here. And then I can go ahead and end my line and there we go. Now let's test this and see how it runs. So I run the code and I give it, let's say three, because that should be three times two times one, which is six. 
and it says equal to 6. I run the same code again, and I give it 5 because we know that is equal to 120, and it comes out as 120. So this is how to write factorial, factorial function the recursive way.